Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another STEM video from Deke J. Wilson. On this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate showing you how we would draw the blueprint for our ladder project in class. Now again, this is not necessarily a, a, a topic for everybody out there, but this is a topic mainly for my class, but any of you are welcome to view it. So remember the rules for our ladder project. The rules were, you're going to build or draw the blueprint for a ladder. The ladder has to be eight inches tall. Uh, the bottom rung is one inch from the bottom. All the rungs are one inch wide. All the material, because since we're building this ladder out of one eighth inch material, all your material pieces have to be one eighth of an inch. And uh, there needs to be a one inch gap in between the top of one rung and the and the bottom of the rung above it so there needs to be a one inch gap there so I'm going to show you how to do that okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw uh, one of my eight inch support beams okay now again we're going to draw this in orthographic three view so front view the top view is going to be above it and then the side view okay so I'm going to draw the first thing I'm going to draw is an, an eight inch Beam. So I want to start all the way up to 8 inches. I'm going to go all the way down to 0. Okay. Now, because all of the support beams have to be an eighth of an inch, I'm going to then pick up my ruler, and then I'm going to measure that 1 eighth of an inch over on the bottom. And then I'm also going to do the same thing, so 1 eighth of an inch on the top. Okay? So, then once I do that, I'm going to play connect the dots. And so, that, and I'm, and I'm just going to draw the lines. That is going to be my first 8 inch piece. Okay? Now I'm going to draw my rung. So rather than draw the other eight, the other side first, I'm going to draw um, my eight inch, or I'm going to draw my my rungs first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the bottom. I'm going to measure one inch. So at this point right here, this is where my first rung should start. So I'm going to put a tick mark there. Okay. And then, again, because my material has to be an eighth of an inch, so there is an eighth of an inch. Okay? So there's my first rung. Then I'm just going to move my ruler up a little bit, because, again, there needs to be a one-inch gap between the top, of this rung, the top of this rung and the bottom of the next one above it. So I'm going to draw another rung right there. So just going to repeat this process all the way up. So there's uh, the, the top of this rung. So there's one inch, one inch. And I'm just going to repeat this process. So again, one of the things about that we're learning from this is that many times drawing our blueprints and making sure that our blueprints are done well is going to be one of the main things that you'll get out of any project build. Okay? So there's my seven rungs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven rungs. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is, again, all of my rungs are going to be one inch wide. So I'm going to turn my paper this way, okay? And then I'm going to draw straight across. And again, because of the fact that this is a right angle, I'm just going to measure this up with my ruler, and then I'm going to draw that one inch. So that way I know my rung is going straight across. If I match it up with the line that I drew, and with my tick mark. 
Okay, so there's going to be my first rung. I'm going to do the same thing here. Second rung. And again, there are so many different methods in which uh, you can learn how to draw rungs and how to draw blueprints and designs. There's so many different ways to do this, but um, one of the key things that you'll get is to again take your time don't rush value the mistakes that you make so that way you don't make those same mistakes over again and if you do you know how to fix them okay and then all right picking up where we left off Okay, so once you have all of your rungs drawn, okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to draw the opposite side of our ladder. So we're going to draw, again, this was our eight, our eight inch support. These are our seven rungs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are our seven rungs. Okay, and then this, we're just going to draw a straight line down on this side and do the same thing that we did to draw this one, okay? So because of the fact that I know that these were our one inch rungs, I'm going to match up my, my lines here, okay? And then draw a straight line down. Okay, actually I should probably use the and just side. Sometimes I get so used to uh, my measurements okay so you'll see that is a perfect I'll zoom out a little bit a perfect 8 inch um, straight line okay and then what I want to do I'm going to measure over an eighth of an inch So an eighth of an inch is here. Okay. And then the other eighth of an inch is here. Connect the dots. All right, so now let's add our um, our measure marks on this particular on our ladder here. Okay, so we know that this is eight inches, so we'll do that. And again, we use the double quotes. We know that there's a one inch gap in between each rung, so one inch. We know that our rungs are one inch wide, so there's one inch, okay? Then we also know that because of the fact that our rungs are one inch wide, okay? So this is one inch right here, we'll, we'll draw this. So that's one inch. And because our posts are one eighth of an inch, I know it's kind of small, but you can take my word for it. So one eighth. So this is when we're adding up those fractions. So you have one inch plus one eighth and another eighth is going to give you one and two eighths inches. Or we can reduce that which is obviously one and a fourth inches or 1.25 inches, however you want to say it. So the entire width 
of our ladder is going to be 1.25 inches. Okay? We also know that our bottom rung started one inch from the bottom. Okay? So, this is your diagram for your front view. So, this is our front view. Now, remember, this is an orthographic three view, so we need to draw the top view. Our top view is going to be pretty easy because we're just drawing the ladder from a bird's eye view, straight down. All right, so it so our ladder is actually going to be um, 1.25 inches long, and it's going to be an eighth of an inch wide. Okay, so let's draw a 1.25 inch line. So we're going to start here at zero and go all the way to a quarter of an inch. Okay? Then what we're going to do is obviously we know um, our roller is going from the top view is an eighth of an inch wide because that's how wide the support beams are. So we're going to measure, make our tick marks here, and then we'll connect those dots. Okay, obviously, see, I made mine a little bit longer, but it's okay. We can erase those extra lines. Okay, so this is what our ladder is going to look like from the top view, from straight down. Obviously, we need to add our measurements. So, one eighth inch, and then we know that it is. 1.25 inches long. Okay? Now, our side view, same thing, it's going to be very similar to our top view, which is going to be um, one, actually, it's going to be um, one eighth of an inch wide, but it's going to be eight inches tall. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an eight inch line. So that's eight inches right there. Then I will measure an eighth of an inch. And then an eighth of an inch on the bottom. Okay. Once I do that, Play connect the dots. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Then connect the top. Connect the bottom. Okay. I don't have to draw anything with the rungs because the rungs are flat. Just so the rungs will be what's connecting this side to the other side that's kind of behind it that you can't see. Again, because it is the side view. And this is the side view, so I'm going to draw... It's the side view. Now I need to include my measurements, so I'm going to use my trusty ruler here. I'm going to draw a, a line going from the top to the bottom, measuring 8 inches. And then I know that my width from side to side is 1 eighth of an inch. Okay. So this is what your ladder project is going to look like, or well, the blueprints of your ladder project. Again, if you want to use graph paper, you are certainly welcome to use graph paper. However, if you would like to draw it on regular paper, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, Just please make sure that your measurements are as accurate as you can, uh, because it will help you as you build your ladder. And, um, I think that's all that I'm going to say about that. I truly wish you the best. And again, if uh, you continue to like these videos, please subscribe. 
And uh, obviously when I post new videos, you will see the very first new videos that get out.